The Logistic Ministry of Education says it received 15 million naira from UNICEF to fund e-learning during the COVID-19 lockdown. This was made known in MENA at the launch of UNICEF Back to School campaign. Chenemi Bamei reports. How badly did COVID-19 affect education? UNICEF says in Ninja State, 3% of girls dropped out of school for fear of contracting the virus. If that was all, compared to what the state has to deal with now, 3% wouldn't be much to worry about. But UNICEF is now seeking to partner journalists to support its campaign of encouraging children to go back to school after the COVID-19 lockdown that occurred over a year ago. From the current turn of events, COVID-19 is even a lesser cause of children absconding from school in Niger State. All government boarding schools in Niger State are shut down due to banditry attacks. Between January and October 2021, more than 200 school children have been kidnapped from schools in Niger State. This has caused many parents to be worried about the safety of their children in school. This is a bigger threat to children returning to school. In spite of these challenges, the ultimate goal remains providing quality and affordable education for children at no risk to their health and lives. For this reason, the government and stakeholders are faced with the task of designing newer strategies for education, on the one hand, while solving the problem of insecurity on the other. In an assessment report presented by the Ministry of Education on e-learning carried out during the COVID-19 lockdown. The ministry said it cannot ascertain the level of impact the program had on children, a program to which UNICEF contributed 15 million naira. UNICEF is working and collaborating with all agencies to ensure that they provide some support to children, even children who are affected uh, in terms of insurgency in some uh, places, even in Niger here, we provided psychosocial support to children who are abducted in Kagara. Uh, so we had a family a community visit, they visited the children at home to give them psychosocial support. I don't want to see people fighting, and I don't want to see people quarreling, and I don't want to see people fighting around. While COVID-19 has had its bad effects, not just on the economy, but on education as well, there are still children that cannot go back to school because of insurgency and insecurities in their neighborhood. These are part of the problems that UNICEF and other collaborating agencies are trying to solve. Chenemi Bami, TVC News, Mina.